Okay, so you are saved two pieces of paper. And what you're going to do is you're going to start with a pencil and on both pieces of paper, right in the middle, I want you to put a dot. We'll go over this again in class. You do not have to do it right now. I, like right in the middle, like the center. We're going to call that our vanishing point. You're then going to take a ruler and you're going to, on the black piece, you're going to go first. You are going to literally make diagonal lines and triangles all the way. You're going to radiate out those lines. You can make some far apart, like these are really far apart, or you can make them close together. You're basically making it look like a lot of pieces of pizza. Who likes pizza? Me. Me. I'm going to use a different crayon, so maybe it shows up for everybody a little better. Yeah, can you see that? Yeah. That better? Yeah, yeah that's better. The, don't use a red crayon on your real art. I'm just doing this for visibility. Are we using black on your real art? You're using black paper. You're going to use a pencil. All right, so I'm putting my ruler on this vanishing point every single time. Does that make sense? Yeah. Raise your hand if you remember what a vanishing point is and you're listening to me. Okay. So I put my ruler on the vanishing point. I'm going to make a really skinny one. You guys see it? Yeah. Watch. Because sometimes you might want a skinny one. Sometimes you might want a thicker one. Okay? All different sizes are cool. This one's going to be shorter. Whoops, I'm trying to hurry. I'm trying to hurry because you guys have to work and I can't have a long video. All right, so the black is done. I accidentally made a mess on my white. I'm going to turn it over. The next thing you do is cut these out. You are not going to use every single one of them. And you have to cut nice and neat. So you just put them all down here in a little pile. And let's pretend, whoops, I made a hairy triangle. Sorry, guys. Okay, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to cut out a skinny one so I have some differences. All right, so let's pretend I got them all done. Here's the little dot in the middle of my paper. Now, like I told you with the glue, you put the glue on the back of the black. I know, it's like a rock group, isn't it? Or is this a back in black? Is that a group? Okay, it's a group. All right, so then you're going to find where you could put this. Do you see how the edge lines up? It doesn't line up here. I'm not going to say you can't use it here because we're going to cut these edges off anyway. But try to line them up. Put the points together and stick it down. Massage on the back. All right, let's use a shorter one. Let's use something different. That one, I put the crayon on the other side too. This side has crayon marks, so I flipped. Mrs. Bales put the glue on the wrong side. <laughs> it's supposed to be on the crayon side. Oh, well, here we go. Now we're going to go and put this like this. Now, see how this is not going to line up, nope. but my chopper will fix these problems, okay? So you're going to continue going all the way around until this is done, okay? So you see how it's starting to form yes. this? Okay, so you're going to keep going. Make sure they're glued down. This one's flipping up. There, stuck down. Now later, you're going to get one of these. I want you to color them solid with marker or crayon. Marker will look better. It's okay. Um, make sure they're solid and not scribbly so they look like we use construction paper. You can pick whatever sizes you need. You don't have to use all of these and you're gonna glue them on here like the examples. Okay, so that's what this paper here is for. Alrighty.